Hey, how's it going? Well, I wanted to wait a while before making this video. I mean, I had made an, an earlier version of this subject matter, but I, I deleted it shortly after. But I wanted to wait because I wasn't sure if how I felt was on solid ground, and it seems that it is, so. For the past couple years, I was heading down the route of being a self-hating gay person. An anti, almost an anti-gay gay person. I was getting pretty damn close there for a while. As I've said before, I was in the weight gain scene on and off for about 17 years. At my heaviest, I was 300 pounds. That was in 2017. And that's on a 5 foot 7 frame. By the very end of 2017, I realized just how stupid the whole thing was, and I changed my lifestyle dramatically, and over the next couple years, I lost about 110 pounds. Unfortunately, along with that went most of my sexuality. I had taught myself that I was wrong for still liking fat guys, and that I would be a detriment to anyone's life, you know, if I involved myself in their life, if they were fat and I wasn't trying to help them lose weight. I essentially was viewing myself as an evil person, so I ended up shunning my sexuality altogether. A lot of my telling myself that I'm not allowed to think about some things. And this somewhat tainted my view of sexuality in general. I was beginning to judge sexuality on straight Christian standards, and I'm sure that it was showing in my opinions on the subject. Well, over this past year, without trying, I've gained about 35 pounds of it back. I'm at 225 now. When I started paying attention to how I looked since gaining that back, I realized just how much more I liked it compared to the deflated balloon look. I don't really want to get any heavier, but I also don't want to lose any weight either. I mean, once I looked at myself that way, it was the first time since 2019 that I didn't just cringe whenever I saw myself in the mirror. And so I've decided to just find a happy medium in all of this and just accept where I'm at. And it's allowed me to start looking at other people again without feeling like I'm evil in my intentions. If I get with a heavy guy, I most certainly won't try to encourage them to gain weight. But I also won't encourage them to lose weight unless it's something they express that they want to do. And so since these realizations and changes, I've been separating from the religious views on sexuality again, thankfully. This doesn't mean that I think that it's the way people were born. I still think it's mostly nurture and not nature. But also that it's not a conscious choice, at least not most of the time anyway. But that also doesn't mean that I think there's anything wrong with it. It doesn't hurt anyone. I mean, if I'm to be honest, the worst thing about being gay, lesbian, or trans, at least most of the time anyway, is not really being able to create your own biological offspring. It essentially means you're a genetic dead end, and that can be depressing for people. But that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. There are plenty of people who make the conscious decision not to have kids. And people like Matt Walsh and Paul Joseph Watson like to make fun of them for some reason. Anyway, it's just great to no longer judge myself for liking what I like. So, thanks for watching.